All right, let's talk about the rotate and the crop tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a photo, file, open, search for my photo. And if for some reason your photo was not um, horizontal and it was kind of not upright, as you would say, we could go in there and go to image, rotate. We can 90 degree left it, or image, rotate, 90 degree right, go back, Go to image, rotate, you can do a 180, flip it upside down. You could go into image, rotate, and you could custom. So you do a percentage, I'm gonna cancel that. You can go to image, rotate, you can flip horizontal or flip vertical. So all of those different things you can do right off the bat if you want to. I'm not gonna worry about doing anything different with that. I'm gonna to go to File and Open. You have to be really careful when you do flip horizontal or vertical because then everything's gonna be backwards. So if somebody's wearing a shirt, I learned this the hard way back about 25 years ago when I used to be in the ad industry, I went ahead and flipped something not even seeing that the shirt had writing on it and we printed a bunch of copies and needless to say, I was in big trouble. So be careful with flipping something. Even if it's really, really small, somebody might catch it. So here's the photo. There's other ways that you can crop. You can go into the crop tool and you'll notice that it does go ahead and it picks something for you if you have it set up that way. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna escape out of that crop and I'm gonna go to edit preferences. I believe they have something in here. I can't remember where it is. Enable crop pre-selection. I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it to select something. It drives me kind of crazy. So I'm going to turn that off and click on OK. Now when I click on the crop tool, it's not going to pre-select something for me because it usually doesn't pick what I want it to do anyway. So that's a little tidbit that you want to change. So we have the crop tool selected. We're going to go down we can change it from no restriction to maybe a four by six a five by five five by seven or you can type in the um, size that you want it to be so you can go down to here let's just say you want it to be a six by seven which i probably won't have it but i will go ahead and punch that in then when i click it will give me those dimensions okay i'm going to escape out of that and go back to custom and then go back to maybe five by seven. I also, for sake of just being careful, I will go in and push 300 resolution as the number here. I don't think you have to do that, but I always do that just to be safe. Then I can come in here and it's going to give me that pers uh, proportion. So I like to have a little bit of my husband's legs cut off just because I want it to kind of be a little bit more off center. I can see that the horizon is a little bit going downhill. So I'm gonna take this from the corner, I'm gonna rotate it so that the horizon is pretty much straight. Then I'm gonna click on Commit Current Operation, and now I know that I have a five by seven at a pretty good resolution size for print. I can go to Image, Image Size, or sorry, I can go to Image, Resize, image size, and then it tells me five by seven, 300 resolution. So that's one way of cropping. Another cool little tidbit, and this is more advanced, is if you wanted to like add a border or something like that onto this page, let's say we wanted it to be, I think it does the background. So let's do a background of red. So I clicked on this background icon down here in the bottom of the color palette here. I clicked on that. I went into the color picker and picked a color, and I'm gonna do red just so it's out, it stands out. And then when I click and drag around this, I could potentially come outside of that area and then click on the check mark, and it should give me, yeah, it gives me a red border around there. Now that's a little bit more intermediate level stuff, but I thought since I'm in the crop tool, why not go ahead and show you? If I wanted to do a double border, I could go in there, click on the background there, maybe do something like this color here. It doesn't look very good, but, and then pull it outside of the area. 
kind of eyeballing it there. Click on the check mark, and now I have a double border. And I can go into image, resize, image size, just to make sure we're still at seven by five, 300 resolution. So here, let's go into another photo. Let's open up this photo right here. And let's just say I wanna crop in really close to his face. We have to be very careful because we might, if we crop too much, it might pixelate it because you're cropping away a bunch of pixels and it's kind of pulling it in. So be careful with cropping too much. Let's go ahead in and change it to maybe a three by five. Now it's gonna be width of three and height of five. If you want it to be the opposite way, you click on these little swap height and width, and then it will be a five by three. So I can come in here, click and drag. I'm gonna make it so that it's right about there. The different overlays too can change your perspective. So if I wanted to do the grid, I always use the rule of thirds box here where it says grid overlay, or you have no grid. I always like to keep the rule of thirds there, and then I click on the green check mark, and there I have it cropped to that size. So if you zoom in really, really tight, you'll start to see some pixelation, but you should be okay if you don't go too much of a crop. Like if I cropped like way up here, you're gonna see that if you print this out, you're probably gonna have a little pixelation. Not a whole lot, because what it does is it, so I think it's called interpolation. Now it's set to 97 down here as the resolution. So it won't print out at 300 resolution because you've cropped away a lot of those pixels. So hopefully that kind of makes sense, and hopefully you now know how to use that crop tool. Let me show you one more thing with this crop tool. Let's open up this one. If you wanted it to be a little bit off like center, you could go in here and you could rotate this a lot, like so. Click on the check mark, and it's kind of like off kilter. Now sometimes it looks kind of cool. Now with this, I'm not so sure, but sometimes you'll have a portrait and it's a little bit cockeyed or whatever you want to say, and it looks pretty cool. So that's another way you could crop. You can rotate it, hit that little check mark, and you're good to go. Then you would go ahead and save it. You could save it off as a JPEG or a PSD or a TIFF, and we'll talk more about those file formats here in a couple more segments. Hi friends, thanks so much for watching this quick snippet taken directly out of the Photo Editing and DigiScrap Academy. I'm Michelle Stelling from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers, and thanks so much for watching. Also, if you would like to become a member or check out our memberships, we do have $60 uh, off of our one year and six month memberships, so be sure to check them out today. They're at naods.com forward slash special. That's where you will be getting that $60 off and you don't have to use a coupon. So thanks again for watching. And as always, if you wanna share this with your friends, be sure to do so and also leave comments and uh, questions below. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.